Okay guys, this is my first video for jungling and it's going to be Jarvan. Now, a few things before I start the jungling uh, video. Um, Jarvan is a... I guess he's more of a tank than he is a damage dealer in the jungle, especially when he comes out of it. Uh, he's there for CC. He's got his <coughs> Q and his E and his W to slow, as well as his ALT to close in and trap enemies. So usually with Jarvan, he's, um, he's a bit mana hungry, so I would start Wolves Blue, transition into Wraiths, and then probably Golems, and then Red, depending on when you want to gank in between those time, that time. So I'll start five pots and uh, cloth armor. I would usually pick up uh, Riggles with Jarvan. Riggles, f usually for... I usually pick up Riggles for a lot of uh, the auto attack champions, such as you know, Jarvan, Nocturne. It's good for capturing Dragon, and it's great for jungling, obviously, since Jarvan is a really slow jungler. His, uh, his passive got somewhat nerfed. I mean, it's a buff late game, but it's a nerf early game. He's got 6% before level 6. So you've got 6% of the uh, monster's health, as opposed to 8, static 8, uh, before the change. Now it's 6, 8, 10 progression, but early game it'll be a little weak for Jarvan. So, here we go, we got blue buff, helps uh, with his early game mana problems, uh, I would usually give off the second blue buff to my mid, or if mid doesn't need it, uh, someone either bot or top, depending on you know, if you're playing top or bot in the field. So, here I'll probably give it to mid, my brand, and I'm doing a race right now, and Notice how slow I'm doing rates. It's uh, it's really, really slow. But you gotta make the most of it. You gotta try to try to use your martial cadence uh, as much as possible. Here, here I'm not because I am. I don't know what I was doing, but speed this video up a bit. It's getting red. Here we go. I'm trying to probably gank mid here. No, nope, no. Nope. I'll probably back here. Pick up boots first before I get anything else. Mords. Gank in mid here. Uh, easy first blood that would block. I don't know what she was doing, but she clearly wasn't uh, paying attention. So, back to jungling. Uh, I'm still not level 6 yet. I mean, I can still gank decently well, but. So, with red buff helps a lot as well with the juggling, uh, killing race, killing anything really. And I figured I'd gank this LeBlanc again because I, she's overextending as well as uh, doing some stupid things here. But uh, I didn't kill her here. I uh, almost did. I could have flashed and killed her, uh, but. I didn't want to get caught. I didn't know where their jungle was. Now I do. But at the time I didn't and didn't want to get caught trying to tower dive. Well, I mean, I pushed her back. It's a, a semi win. So I go back to jungling. Notice I'm not hitting these mobs with martial cadence, uh, which I should be, but I'm not because. Was probably wasn't in the mood to do uh, any micromanaging on the jungle right here in this game. So I'm gonna back, pick up a razor, give my blue off to Brand here, try to gank bot. Uh, I 
I know I fast forwarded, but that Lulu did not have a did not have flash, so instead of going after Corky, I went after her because she had no flash. I don't know why anyone runs or doesn't run flash when there's a German on the other team. Especially we don't have the natural escape. So I'm gonna pick up red again and go on top here. And this rise just completely flashed before I used my ult, so easy kill. So I was, you know, fast forward here. Not much going on. A couple of games. With Jarvin, you you're not a powerhouse slate game, so you wanna you wanna gank as much as possible. You wanna get as much farm as you can because Jarvin relies heavily on farm. There I just screwed up and took the blue by accident. Jarvan is very farm dependent. He can't late game if he's farmed, he's nearly unstoppable and he does decent damage with his martial cadence. Uh get caught there. Uh, lived. But yeah. Uh late game, jungle Jarvan, little tanky, and does okay damage. If you want to pick up a sheen, I, I would I would suggest it, but I usually don't. I would usually pick up uh Probably uh, a GP5 item, maybe two if you want to pick up a Philostone, I usually don't. Mid game Jarvan's man problems aren't as bad as they are early game, so I usually don't pick it up. But I definitely get a heart of gold, because eventually you want to transition that into a uh, Randuins, so I pick up Boots, Mercury Treads right after I get a heart of gold, transition that into Possibly, a lot of people like to get the Philistone, but like I said, I don't, because I don't find the need for it. I would get a, uh, probably get more Mogs afterwards, and then build that into Atmos, or you can pick up a, a Phage sometimes, I pick up a Phage just for the, uh, just for the more health and the CC component. So, and after that, probably, probably into Atmos. If not a, if not a Trinity Force, some people like to go Trinity Force, but I don't think Jarvan has enough farm in the jungle to run Trinity Force. Up here, I thought Rise was there, so I didn't uh, tried to go in, tried to kill him, but he, he already backed. And this LeBlanc is, I don't know, she's doing some crazy stuff. She's not using her W to escape. She's not really scary at all. So here we pick up a dragon. First dragon of the game, uh, really far into the game. Sh there was no real opportunity in the beginning to get it. And this Fiora, I don't know. She's probably a new Fiora or something. She doesn't. Unless Fiora is really that bad at juggling. Well, anyway, fast forward here. This game is just about over. It's There's not much going on left. Do a little counter juggling, which is unnecessary at this point. It's pretty much in the bag. Not much going on here. So, I wouldn't recommend Jarvan for any beginners. Uh, he's, it takes a lot of micromanaging and his, uh, his alt can really screw up someone. And then they surrender, and that is the video. Thanks for watching.